This upcoming weekend on Saturday is the shootout of the, at the hall at University of Illinois, at Assembly Hall. This is an event I've always loved. I always get pumped for every year, and this year is no different. From the beginning of the day, the first game at 11 a.m. till the last tip at 9.30, tons of talent. A lot of people already know about the guys like Quincy Miller, number three in the country, Jeremy Richmond, number one in Illinois, Myers Leonard, Illinois commit, Tracy Abrams, Illinois commit, all these guys who are going to be playing down there. But what I'm going to do, instead of discussing the same old guys, is talk about a few uh, players, underrated players, uh, to keep an eye out for uh, this weekend. The first one is an out-of-state guy who's actually from in-state. His name's Charles McKinney. He plays for Quality Education in North Carolina with Quincy Miller and Stargell Love. Charles used to go to Main East. He grew up in Evanston, went to Main East High School. He was a junior last year. He transferred to Quality Education to uh, help with his academics and give him more exposure. And I saw a noticeably improved game when I saw him this past week or two weekends ago at the Tournament of Champions. Charles is a 6'3 guard, really athletic, really talented. I've always thought he was really underrated. So hopefully he's going to have a good season in the national spotlight for Quality Education and pick up a lot more offers. The next kid I want to talk about is Malcolm Hillbay from Mount Carmel. Everyone knows Tracy Abrams, the Illinois commit, awesome player, starting point guard from Mount Carmel. Not as many people know about Malcolm Hillbay, who is a sophomore uh, who plays in the backcourt alongside Tracy Abrams, but I think Malcolm is awesome. I saw him at the Pangos camp uh, the, over uh, in the spring, or sorry, I saw him at the Pangos camp in the fall. I saw him a lot over the summer last year. Uh, I've seen him a, a lot more than I've seen a lot of other players uh, in his class, so I might be a little biased, but I love his game. He's a wizard with the ball in his hands. He hit, He's confident. He hits down the outside shot. He's an amazing passer, smart player, fun to watch. It's going to be really great to see him develop over these next few years. And I think he could end up being as good as, as any of these guards. Next guy to watch out for, Duan Marrero, a sophomore wing from Gary Bowman. I got to see this kid play at the Pangos camp also. Not only is he a freak athlete, loaded with potential, Great, versatile player and also a, a target of Illinois. That's why I have an uh, out-of-state team at the shootout of the hall. Um, but he's also an awesome kid. I got to interview him and talk to him afterwards. And he's very smart. Uh, he's going to take his time and make the right decision. Fun kid to talk to. Uh, and it's going to be cool to you know, see him go against Peoria Emanuel and some of the best that the state of Illinois has to offer. Fourth kid I want to talk about is Makari Brooks from Rich South. He was on the Macarvin Fire 16 and under last year. Uh, he is a 6'2", 6'3", guard. I have a video out there on YouTube with him that you got to check out from this summer. He doesn't get talked about a ton, but I think this kid is loaded with potential. Great dunker. Um, it's really unfortunate that Crandall Head got injured before the season. He won't be able to help out this season with that Rich South team. Because with him, Makari, a couple other guys in that squad, I think they really could have uh, made a lot of noise and competed for a state title. Uh, but Makari Brooks is a kid that I don't think is on a lot of high major schools radar right now, but I expect him to be by the end of the season, so watch out for him.